Okay, this reading for Sagittarius, whoever's watching Spirit, what are the messages you need them to know? Who is coming towards them? What do they need to know? Well, let's fill out. These all four fell out. There could be somebody who's like worried about you. They're very greedy. <laughs> this person's like hot and cold. One minute they're loving, the next minute they're freaking, you know, psycho Sally. Like this jackal, Dr. Jackal and Hyde bullshit. Like, yeah, there y'all go. Getting the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> Cancer energy headed to your destiny. Boy, you guys are closing out a cycle. Moving away, they've got fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Who's the other fixed sign? Comment and let me know. Is it Cancer? Cancer? Hmm, I don't know. I think so. Yeah, I see you being quiet towards somebody here. You can be listening to your intuition, moving away from like a friendship or a relationship. Somebody feels like you're being very mysterious here. Oh, yeah. They're moving away from some type of, um, you know, friendship, relationship. Somebody who it's not serving you. You feel betrayed by this person or they feel betrayed by you. Yeah, this person's like losing hope in the situation. Aquarius, Libra. I'll tell you why. It's like you're headed to your destiny with the chariot energy. And this person could have been in the way of that. Like they were trying to stop your success, stop you from moving on to your healing, stop you from your destiny. Because the chariot, he's headed to his destiny. And there was some type of a connection that you were involved in that was preventing you from, from that. Yeah, it was like this King of Wands energy. Could have been like a karmic, a karmic lover. It's like you realize this per like you're losing uh, like hope in this person or hope in this situation or they are. They they could also you know feel like something's not fair. This person's like reflecting on the past, reflecting on this situation. Something was out of balance. Yeah, this person, you guys could have been like very passionate together. And then now it's like there's no passion left. Or they could have been using passion to prevent you from moving on. Something like that. Yeah. This is somebody who was unethical. Like... They weren't honoring God. They weren't honoring, um, you know, something here. Like, they were unethical. This is somebody who was also, like, non-committal. Like, they didn't want to commit. Oh, they have you in the reverse. <laughs> so, you probably are the one that, like, cut this off or quit giving to this. Yeah, so that you can heal. So you're like healing from this. Mm. You removed yourself from a situation with somebody because they weren't being the emperor for you, whether male or female. They weren't being who you needed them to be. You're like, you know what? If you don't know how to commit, you don't know how to be this emperor, I will like just leave. And this is somebody who feels like they've lost control over you. They wanted to dominate you. Because the Emperor Reverse is like very dominating. Yeah, you cut off communication with this person. You, you At one point you feared losing this person. Or you had a fear around not communicating with this person. I feel like that fear is gone. Yeah, because you realized there was, no, there was not going to be wish fulfillment with this person. No matter how much work you put in, time, energy, you just realize this is not your wish fulfillment. You probably were under some type of an illusion. This person could be upset because the illusion is broken. Yeah, well. <laughs> you guys crack me up. This shit always comes out. 
Look, Sagittarius is like, you don't care. You got somewhere to be. You guys got somewhere to be. And this person, it, it was preventing you from getting there. Because here you are, Sagittarius being successful, um, getting success, winning, victory, uh, eight of pentacles. Whatever you are, go, you, spirit's trying to move you more towards your goals, your work, focusing on yourself and your healing journey. Because you have something you're working on that is going to make you very successful. And had you stayed in this like dynamic with this individual where there was like no commitment. Because this person wasn't being the emperor, whether they're male or female, they weren't going to build a life with you. And so you're like, you know, you could really love this person. Okay, there could you could have like you guys did have a bond with the two of cups, but you're like, I, I can't do this. I got somewhere to be like I if you're not going to build and help me work on building this like 10 of Pentacles, then, then I'm out. So you cut you, you could have had a fear in the past of this or be really emotional over this person. You no longer have that emotion because it's like you, you figured something out. So you remove the emotion from it. Yeah. And so this person's watching you. Yeah, they they are watching you. Um, they feel so. This person knows who you are. Don't if you're dealing with somebody and they didn't act like they've seen your worth. That's bullshit. They did. They know your worth. And this person's watching you. You see how like they're stalking you here. They're stalking you here. They're shining a light on what you're doing. Virgo energy twice. So this person uh, feels like you ghosted them. You're being quiet. You're, you're going within, you know, you did some soul searching and you're like, uh, I would rather be single than to put up with this bullshit or be connected to this. Like you don't have time for it is what I'm seeing. You're independent, good looking. You're not playing any games. And you're happy. <laughs> so I see you being very happy. Um, you're not crying over this. The moon's in reverse and the sun's in the upright. We have the sun twice then. It's like, because I'm happy. Like, you're not sad over this. Yeah, it was a burden. This connection was becoming a burden. Like, you probably felt like you were doing everything in, in this relationship. Whoever this was, we have Leo, Sag, Virgo. This person had you doing everything. Okay, and now I feel like this person could be burdened. They could want to like reconcile or come back around. Yeah, they want to come back around. This person's like carrying burdens. And I think you knew that. Like, you know, I don't know. Maybe this person wanted you to carry their burdens. Oh, they're pissed. This person's pissed off because you're moving on. So they're going to come back here and say something to you. They could try to like lash out. Yeah, they are going to return. This person's upset at you, by the way. They're pissy. They're pissy that you're being quiet, being silent, not communicating. Yeah, and this person could be kind of depressed. That's what I was picking up on. You're, you're fine. I think at one point you used to be really emotional over this person, really attached to this person, um, probably wanted a relationship, maybe even marriage. But as time went on, you started realizing they weren't ever going to commit. And so you was just like, okay, so why am I putting my time and precious energy into this when I have somewhere to be? Because you know your worth. I'm talking to a Sagittarius or whoever you're watching. You know your worth. Like, and you stand on business. Um, but this person's in regret and in despair over how they treated you in the past. Because they, they did. They did something... Um, yeah, they see you moving on. And you're no longer manifesting this. You're no longer trying to manifest this person. So you've completely given up on this. Ooh, the wheel came out reversed and then flipped to the upright. You were stuck. Like I said, you used to be stuck on this person. Like you could have really put in some work to try to get this person to treat you right or see your value or something you were doing. And then just one day you're like, 
what the fuck? What, why am I doing this? And you just, you're off to the races. Very Sagittarian like. You're like, I got somewhere to be. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius, Jupiterian energy. And you guys ain't waiting for nobody. And you shouldn't. You don't have to. The wheel's moving in your favor. Yeah. And this person... They're very jealous of your options. Like, you have a lot of options when I feel like it comes to, like, love, finance, career. Like, it's not just love, okay? This person wanted to one-up you. They wanted to defeat you. They were playing mind games. Now, this came in the reverse. So, this person could have been, like, um, you know, wanting to one-up you, defeat you at all costs, not wanting to surrender, wanting to be the right fighter. No, I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. One of those types. <laughs> now, this could mean two different things. They could be looking at their other options and they're like, shit, there's nothing out here. Let me go back to Sagittarius and surrender. Or this is just you surrendering the situation and being like, you know what? If you want to be right, you're right. I don't care. I'm moving on. I'm looking in other directions. Oh, yeah, it, this is a jealousy energy. This person's jealous of other, like, love offers that you could be entertaining or something like that. Yeah. Tower reverse. This person could try to come in because they're trying to prevent this tower from falling completely. Yeah, this person's feeling the Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. They're, they got a lot of jealousy around them, though. And they're realizing. Now, let me tell you something. This person, whoever they are, they know that their mind games and their ego and their tricks are what caused the tower to begin with. But they're trying to prevent a full, full on breakdown. Like they could still try to rebuild or come in and communicate, move things forward with you. They are feeling left out in the cold. They feel like you're leaving them out in the cold. And so now they're like very guarded, very blocked off. Ooh, this person's pissy at you. Could be done with a Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. This person's very pissed at you. Very upset at you. Oh yeah, and they're heartbroken. Because you are like blocking them. You're putting boundaries up. So this is somebody who could have not had any boundaries. Like they were just willy nilly and doing all kinds of shit to you. And you and something happened. Like I'm telling you, I can see the process. Like you somehow woke up from an illusion one day and you're like, huh, what in the hell am I doing over here? Um, and you 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 became the queen of swords. So if this person's not talking to you right now, it's like they're very heartbroken about your actions. They're blaming you. They are the victim. You're the one who did something to them is what they're saying here. This person could have had somebody on the side, too. They could have been putting somebody over you as a priority that they were still, like, in love with. Some type of a water energy or just somebody they had love for that they didn't want things to end with. Or this could be you. They don't want things to end with you. Like, maybe you used to be the Queen of Cups towards them, really loving, very kind. This person has like a fear, anxiety, and worry that like if you're no longer building with them or working with them, then you have new love. Like they, they feel like you could be treating them different because you have a new lover. And so this person's upset about it. Yeah, they feel like you found somebody stable. So they feel like you're giving your love to somebody else. 
Oh, yeah. And this person also realizes you, like, figured out their lies or something. Or they're afraid that you're going to find somebody else who isn't lying to you. Like... This person could have been lying to you about their love for you. They could have been more around you for financial reasons and you figured them out. Or they were lying to you about somebody else they were dealing with. This person was tempted by a third party. There was somebody else involved here. And I think you figured it out and that's why you left. Because you're like, you know what? If you're going to be talking to somebody else or open, keeping your options open because you want to be non-committal, then I'm going to leave. This person could have been taking a lot of your strength. Yeah, it was somebody that they were in some type of a, a marriage or commitment with. They chose somebody over you. They chose this like Queen of Pentacles over the Empress. You're the Empress. They can't replace you. They know it. Yeah, so you moved on. You're like, you know what? So they could have been talking to like an ex that lives at a distance or something. This keeps coming out in your reading, so... Um, you moved on though. You're moving on. You're like, I'm not playing games no more. I'm not dealing with no hoe cakes. Um, I want stability. Yeah, you used to hold on to this person. And this person used to probably hold on to you too. I feel like both of you could be like letting go. Yeah, you realize this is not your Ten of Pentacles. You're not going to get a commitment with this person. Yeah, this person was very combative, had you in competition, very jealous. They were talking to somebody at a distance. Yep. They were waiting for, like, their spouse to come back or somebody they thought they were going to marry or some shit like this. And they could have been, like, having you as a side as somebody who would give to them while they waited for this other person. Yeah, they just were, like, offering you this page energy while they waited for something else and you're just like you figured it out you're like nope and you rejected them yeah you no longer were indecisive you no longer wanted to be juggled um you see yeah and then you protected yourself from this person you got out of your head this person was mind fucking you yeah you got enlightenment from spirit here and then you you cut it off you're like good day goodbye like you realize there was never going to be a, an offer of commitment or long-term stability. So you left this person and now they have the nerve to be pissed at you. Um, so I'm going to ask, now this is, <laughs> I'm going to ask what's going to happen with them and the person that they were talking to at a distance, just for shits and giggles. Because it's like, they were putting you on the back burner and treating the empress or an emperor, whatever gender you are, as an option why they talk to somebody else somebody else um so what's going to happen between this person uh and the person they were talking to at a distance or whoever they used to be in a relationship with what's going to happen between them and that person i'm hearing laugh y'all y'all got an ancestor who's doing too much there's like laughing going on in the background so like um, something could be, I don't know, something's happening, but hold on, let's see. <laughs> okay, there they are juggling you. Oh, it's not going to work out. Whatever they're trying to manifest with this other person is not going to come into fruition. They're being manipulated. Yeah, this person's being manipulated. Could be like a younger, um, a younger air sign. 
that this person's dealing with, like a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody who's younger than them, and they're being manipulated. This person, whoever they're talking to, it's a younger energy, and this um, person's juggling them. They have somebody else, so they're not even actually single. Yeah, um, whoever it is they're dealing with is holding on to them for financial gain. So this is like a gold, like a younger feminine energy, I feel like. She's a gold digger, um, and she's keeping secrets from this person. So this person doesn't even realize they're getting played by this individual. Um, and they have somebody else on the side, and they don't tell this person. So this young, younger air energy is tricking your person or whoever was your person because I see that you're leaving them um, they're holding on to them for financial gain so they could come and ask them for money stuff like that when they need it yeah and then this then they'll like try to offer this person like love in exchange for money so wow your person this person's getting played yeah, um, they're getting, okay, so it's kind of funny. It's like this person was playing mind games with you, but whoever they're dealing with at a distance has been telling them, oh, I love you, honey, shit like that, but it's all a lie. It's just mind games, okay? They're, they're playing mind games with this person. Yeah, and this person's about to figure it out. So right now, the Ace of Swords is in the reverse. They don't know the truth because they're blinded by, like, love for this person, but something's about to happen where spirit comes in and turns this upright. And this person's about to get clarity um, on who they're dealing with. Because they're being deceived right now. They don't see it. It's like an Aquarius energy that's doing this. Yeah, this person's blinded by their love for this younger air sign. And they don't see the truth yet. They haven't gotten clarity, but they're about to. Ooh, and it's going to cause a tower. This person's about to have a tower. Like, these people are going through a separation. When this person figures out that they love somebody who was just using them for money and that they actually had, like, another boyfriend or girlfriend on the side, they're going to be, like, really pissed here. Ooh, boy, are they going to be pissed. So when they figure out that this person was playing them, they're going to be pissed off. Yeah, this person is like, they were doing all this out of love. <laughs> um, and, and it was just like a sham. Karma. This person's getting karma. So they were trying to play you. You picked up on it, cut it off. And now this person's about to receive karma. Okay, this person's about to get hit with karma. Yeah, and they're they're about to get rejected from this person. This person's rejecting their love offer. Um, whoever they're dealing with wants to be single. And I also feel like the person they're dealing with could have divorced them. So that if they were like married or in a commitment, they're getting a divorce. Yeah, whoever they're dealing with is going to hold back from accepting an offer from this person. They don't want long-term commitment with whoever your person is yeah queen of pentacles she's like i don't want your offer no thank you so whoever they're talking to is non-committal they they are literally talking to another person on the side they're trying to latch on to your person and ask them for money it's like a gold digger vibe and if if their person if your person whoever your person is if they don't have enough money to offer them a financial stability, they're going to leave. So it's just about money here with this feminine energy. And it's a younger feminine energy. Could be a younger feminine male, but I'm picking up heavy female. Yeah. This person could have been, fan like your person could have really had like a fantasy about being with this younger person. Like they could have been fantasizing about this and it's like when they realize this person just wanted like their money and was just talking to them randomly in exchange for money it's like they catch a clue here like oh this this was just like a financial exchange yeah and then that person leaves mm -hmm. I'll tell you what too if this feminine energy this younger energy that your person was dealing with knew about you 
they also purposely stuck around with this person long enough to make this person end things with you. So they also could have came in between you and your person. Um, and they did it on purpose so that um, they could make this person end their relationship with you. Yeah, they wanted to keep this person stuck in some type of a bond, like a karmic loop cycle, so that this person, um, your person, couldn't look at other options. So they painted them an illusion, um, and really they're just, they plan on leaving them out in the cold. Like, the, the younger energy who's at a distance has a lot of other options, and they're going to leave your person out in the cold. They only wanted money. Yeah, they're going to end up blocking this person. But, like I said, this younger feminine energy, whoever they were, they knew about you and they purposely wanted this person to block you and leave you out in the cold. It's a heavy Aquarius, uh, younger Aquarius energy at a distance. Yep, they were jealous. They wanted to, like, knock out the competition and your person was dumb as hell. I hate to say it. They was dumb as the day is long. They fell for this hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, this person played on this person's passion. So whoever your person is, they were like thinking of the passion part instead of like with their soul. And there's going to be no commitment. So they're not going to end up married. They're not going to live together. There's not going to be any passion. Yeah, and they're not going to, they're not returning to it. The younger energy doesn't want them. They're even going to end up ghosting this person. Yeah, um, your person's going to realize that they were lied to and deceived and there, there's not going to be any wish fulfillment here. There's not going to be any wish fulfillment. Yeah, moving on. So that they're going to close out a cycle. Um, your person's going to go no contact with them when they realize they've been lied to. And they're going to surrender it. Yeah, this person is doing a lot of overthinking. They're realizing that they were played. They're realizing this was just like, you know, they were thinking about going back to this person because they could have had a past together. They knew each other longer than you guys did. But this person was out for financial gain. Yeah, see, your person was thinking that they could have this family back together or have kids together. They were doing a lot of, like, reminiscing of the good old days that they used to have with this person. Because I feel like they were in a commitment. Yeah, they wanted to return back to the past. They were indecisive on you and another person. They thought they were going to have this, like, glorious life. Yeah, they wanted to reconcile with a past person. <laughs> Oh, Lord. And then the illusion breaks and this person realizes that they chose the devil. So they were headed straight to a devilish energy here. Um, and they were under some type of an illusion. And now they're realizing, oh, well, the only way I could actually be with this person is if I went and made a shit ton, shit ton of money and took care of them. Like, that's all this younger energy cares about is being being taken care of. There's no love here. It's just, it's a gold digger. Yeah, this broad is a gold digger. Mm -hmm. It's a younger energy. So your person was like fantasizing about being with a younger person. So you made the right move to get the hell away from this. Yeah. Yeah, they thought that they were going to have, this is an insincere love offer too. So whoever this is, this person was like making them believe that they really loved him, really wanted him, but it's an insincere love offer. Yeah, and they're going to end up betrayed. They're going to end up getting some type of communication or download or something, and they're going to feel like they were betrayed by this person. Yeah, they made the wrong choice. This person picked wrong. Yeah, they, they literally chose wrong. They chose this person over you. You were the one who really wanted to build with them, create with them, have a life with them. Yeah, you were the successful one. They chose to break your heart to go with this other person and not commit to you. 
um, and they're going to end up getting karma. You're going to move on. Yeah, you moved on because you realized this person had you in a third party. Yep, sure did. You're like, yep, nope, I'm not working or building with you. If you're in a third party or have me in a third party, you cut off communication. You got like enlightenment here. This person's really, really dumb. Like they literally thought they were going to have a family with this person. They thought like, so if they were married to this younger person or something, they really thought this person was going to come back. But they're not. They're not coming. Yeah. And they lost you. You were actually the empress. You were the one who actually would have gave this person wish fulfillment. But they're going to regret walking away. Or you. they're going to regret that you walked away. This person's fixing to be really burdened. They're going to go through a lot of karma. Um, and now they realize they're not getting this person. They're not getting this family they thought they were going to get. And they're not getting you either. So it's like they ruined a real connection for some scallywag. That's sad. That's pathetic. But oh well, that's what they get. If people, I always teach people, <laughs> you have to learn discernment. Every single day, you need to pray and ask for discernment. And this person didn't do that. And now they're left in regret. They're left with these burdens. They feel alone. And they had a real soulmate with them the whole time. You. You were like the one they should have went towards. But this is part of their karmic lesson in life. Um, that's a choice they're going to have to live with. So. Sucks to be them. I see you guys happy as hell. I don't feel like you're emotionally attached to this no more. I think you could care less. Some This person. As soon as you realize they were talking to a past person. You're like fuck you. Like I don't even care what happens no more. Like. You just, I just feel like you turned off emotions like that. You, you stopped caring. Not saying you don't care about the person. You just don't care about investing in the person anymore. Because you're like, I'm not second best to nobody. Like, you guys know your worth. So, six, seven, one. And you have all new. You've probably been seeing one, one, one everywhere. <laughs> so, um, you got a lot of new coming in, okay? So, six, seven, one, 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 seven. Okay, and then here's some signs you could be dealing with. Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Capricorn, Sag. Yeah, be careful because it's like there's this devil energy right behind you and you need to listen to your intuition. And you're getting karmic justice. So be expecting new love and new finances to come in. Okay. Um, let me pull you all a few. They're telling me to pull you guys an oracle. Look. So you're facing to get a loyal heart. You're facing to have somebody come in who's actually loyal to you. So um, everything happens for a reason. Oh my goodness, the divine masculine is here. So you guys, <laughs> like I said, everything happens for a reason. You have somebody coming in who's loyal to you. Um, that's about to take action towards you here. A new beginning. That's why you've been seeing the 111. Yeah, a message in a bottle. You're about to get a message from this person of good news. By the book, ancestors are bringing this in. So the ancestors removed blockages from your life. Oh, this person's going to feel like home to you. Wow, you're going to build a really big empire with this person. You guys are working on your career, focusing on yourself. You're about to build something with somebody. Yeah. This other person, anybody who was in your life that was just like kind of trying to come up off you or burden you with anything, I feel like you're leaving that. So this person could have been like holding on to you, using you for something. And meanwhile, they were waiting for this other young, younger energy to come that's never coming. So they, they like tricked their self out of a good person. But this is somebody who could have had like a lot of burdens and issues they wanted to put on your back and and spirit was like no it's time to go
Yeah, because this person is, is a past energy, and all they did was bring chaos and conflict into your life. Like, they could have even threw this person in your face to try to make you jealous or something. Maybe that's what made you, like, leave or something. But this person was just from a pat from the past, and if you take them back, like, if they come back after you leave, it'll just be chaos and conflict. Yeah, and they don't... <laughs> The, the, here, the focusing on the here and now is in the reverse. So this is in the now. So they're telling you like not to focus on this right now. Not to put any time and energy into this. Chop wood. Chop that shit off. Get rid of it. Unfinished sympathy in the, unfinished symphony in the reverse. Don't go back to this. Okay. It, it's over. This, this karmic cycle with this person is over. Yeah, and you may not, you kind of could, like, miss this person, be kind of sad about this person, but you have to trust that, like, God knows where he's taking you, okay? You see that face in the water watching you, you're like, you know what, I see you kind of crying over here, or being emotional, or maybe that this is that person, but it's fine. You know, like, God is taking you to a good place, and you could have been, like, going with the flow with this individual, and it's like... You got some type of clarity. Like, this isn't going to take you where you need to go. Yeah, they want you to, like, focus on meditating, being outside, praying, stuff like that to keep you balanced. Yeah, and not, you're not going back to this never-ending story. This person had you in a never-ending story of chaos, conflict, burdens, like, they were not your soulmate. So, hopefully that gives you peace to move away from the situation because God is like, hey... You might have thought this person was a soulmate, that they really loved you, but they weren't. Because you have a loyal energy coming in who's really going to be loyal to you and not put anybody... Um, yeah, you found out the truth about this person. They were wearing a mask. They were lying to you the whole time. Hmm. Yeah. This person wasn't a soulmate. Yeah, they could have also really tested you. You could have been very flexible with this person, really tried to work with this person. And it's just like, no, I'm tired of bending. You were bending over backwards for this energy. And then look, because I'm happy. You guys are moving on. You're happy now. Yeah, exchanging gifts. I feel like this person was only happy with you when you were giving to them. Because this is the Six of Pentacles. You found out the truth. You're like, wait a minute. The only time I notice you're in a good mood, pal or girl, is when I'm giving things to you. Like, you know, something like that. Yep, so you're moving on. Going into a new timeline here. Yep, fork in a road. Making the decision to go to something faded. So you guys are headed to your destiny. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, you have somewhere to be. And now you're at peace, okay? So, yeah, you no longer feel orphaned. Like this person, I feel like even when you were around them, they made you feel like less than. You're coming out of that energy and you're at peace with this now. You could have been asking yourself why, like why was this person here? Why did I have to go through this? Oh, this person knew you were very blessed. They seen you as being very blessed. Yeah, because you're headed to the land of milk and honey, okay? So, it's like you're moving on, and now you're very blessed. You're moving to this land of milk and honey. And Spirit's helping you clean this energy out of your energy field so that you don't keep going around and around and around with this person. Yeah, and Spirit's trying to help you co-create with them. Divine timing. Okay, so this per they need you to know that this person's going to try to come back in and clean this up with you. They're going to ask you to mend things with them. So in divine timing, whoever this is, they are going to try to come back and mend things with you. Yeah, but you have a deep knowing something's not right. Yeah, you know that they're wearing a mask. Empress energy. So you knew that this person wasn't your divine counterpart, but you were hoping they were. 
but you had a deep knowing that they weren't. Yeah, this person's going to try to come back to prevent you from moving to your new life. The Spirit's trying to tell you that they're not for you. Yeah, they don't want you to go back. They don't want you to take a leap of faith. This person's going to try to stop you from moving on. They're thinking of ways to do this. Oh, they're going to try to come back in and balance things out with you. I feel you move, like, yeah, spirits trying to move, there's a higher power trying to move you away from this. Yeah, because you have a lot of good coming. You're moving to this treasure island energy, somewhere where you can go the distance with someone. And then there you are, poised. Community. You're also going to be around others that are like-minded. Yeah, you're being watched. Serendipity. You got a lot of good coming here. So you got a loyal heart coming in. So next time I do a reading, I'm going to ask, I'll ask more about that loyal heart coming in. Because I got too much shit to do right now to do it. So next I'll, uh, reading, I'll ask about new love. Okay. Have a good one. Love you guys.